Hello guys, today I'll be making a video over the M17A2. So, first of all, I'll go ahead and go over what I store in the exterior pocket. So, first I have my name right here. Decon kit with these You can also store that right here, but I don't do that. Then the waterproof bag. So that's all out here. In the pouch itself, we got the M17. I got it stored for easy access. Right here, chemical gloves. And there's the inside. All the way at the far back pocket. If I can grab it. There we go. I have the winterization kit. So if you'll excuse me real quick, I gotta go get the manual. Alright, here's the manual. This is the 1983 edition. So, for proper storage in the carrier, one second here, page 7, 70, chapter 2, it tells you where everything goes and all that stuff. Then, on a few pages after tells you how to properly store it with the hood and here it is actually pages before and that is why it's set up like this and so whenever you load it you can easily pull it out so let me show you how to properly put it on I'll just, I'll show you with in my hands already. Remove headgear, hold your breath, place it, place it over your head like this, Alright, in case you can't hear me, first of all, you zip it up, tighten that all up, and then to seal it properly, you're going to put one hand here, breathe in so it sucks up against your face, and if it does do that, then you have a proper seal. As you can see, it sucks up against my face. So that's a proper seal. And you want to make sure that's all zipped up. Oops, I lost this one. This goes here. And this is since this is an A2, we have this. Which So what is this for? And then I don't have any water, so and let's see. 
These are outer lenses. You can tell I have the hood on. And with your setup, it works pretty well. Um, to once right away when you put it on. Normally you want to flush it out. So what you'll do, hold it like this, and blow all the air out. Let me get this out of there. So now I'll go off the manual, and I will show you how to repack your bag. First of all, remove headgear. Loosen your strap, pull it straight over your face, make sure these things, yeah, throw them in here, like so, lift up, like that, remove headgear, buckle up that strap, there we go. So as the manual said, when it's on your face, you hang this down. I think it calls it like a V or something. And what you're going to do is make sure all your straps are tucked up in there. And go up and up. And stuff this in there. It also reminds you to keep this open or accessible. I don't quite know what. So, back to page 70. Chapter 2. Alright. So, when sto- when- no wait. Yes. When stowing M1 waterproof bag, on stow it in lower outside pocket. So, which is right here. I said right there, number one, and at the bottom it says M2, what is it, 50, yeah, 58, goes on the D-ring, which I don't like doing that because it makes too much noise, so instead, you can go on the outside, or the inside of the bag, I usually keep the bag on the inside, so... It's safer. Buckle those up. I don't know if I mentioned this already, that if your unit requires, you can use masking tape and Sharpie or whatever. Or sometimes you can use one mile per hour tape. And if you will be visiting colder environments, you'll definitely need one of these. You can talk, contact your chemical leader and they'll give you that when all right there's winterization kit stow and inside pocket two and that is basically heat this but on the inside I don't know if you can see but that's all the way back here they're kind of just it's difficult whenever you're wearing your bag but not too bad actually Gloves go in there also. It doesn't mention that, but if you have a mop suit, you can put them in the pocket, I guess. But I don't got one of those. This also doesn't have the inner white ones because you don't really need those. Those just get shoved since the winterization kit's here, they get shoved right here. All right, so this is all folded up. So it's easily accessible. Then if you need to, you can pull these over so you can slip it on. Face mask facing out. Shove it in there. Bring your it's difficult when you're wearing it. There we go. And fold the flap back. All that sort of stuff. And 
connect it back here. There's that. And there's that one. So as you can tell, now it's all stored up. And if if you're wearing it over the shoulder, like so, hold that up a little in case you guys want to pause it. So yeah, I have it like here because it's easier with your LBE and when you add your ruck, and you can have it like that also. So that's basically your gas mask. So make sure it's accessible at all times. And I'm not going to show you guys because I already put it on, but you got to try to do it under five seconds. So automatically hold your breath, take this off, put it here, rip it open, flip it over, drape it, zip it, under here, and that's all set. So, that being said, that is the M17A2.